Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I was thinking, uh, I put up a video, I think last night or the day before, it was about Jul Julian's philosophy, philosophy with jewels. And it was all about, they don't close the coffin until you're in it. And I said at the beginning of the video, I can't, couldn't quite remember why I made that actual remark. And then I made the video about it. And I was thinking back on the video and that wasn't actually uh, why I made the remark. And the reason I made the remark is, uh, I was riding along with my mate Simon uh, at my new kind of lower gravel cycling pace, which is about 9.9 .9 miles an hour, which is what I did on my trip to uh, uh, the Hearn Bay and Whitstable. Link to the video up above if uh, you haven't seen it already. And I was saying to Simon, that why is everybody in such a hurry? Where are they going in such a rush? Why is everybody so desperate? Because they don't close the coffin until you're in it. So slow down. So what are we doing today? Uh, I thought, also, also I thought, looking back at that video, and I don't often uh, look back at my videos. Lawrence Olivia never used to watch his films and they're good enough for him. It's good enough for me. So I was looking back at that video and I thought I was a bit, I was a bit downbeat. I was a bit dirge-like. And one of the reasons for it was it was in the evening. And what is it now? It's in the evening. And Wales have lost the football. Oh, God, I've spoiled it for you. You thought they were going to win. You thought you'd watch it on the highlights. You thought they had a chance. To... <laughs> no, mate. Wales lost the football and Matt Hancock has resigned. So all is right with the world. What are we doing today? Well, some of you will know, some of you will know, link to the videos all around, that I am doing Le Jog, Land's End to John O'Groats. Uh, August the 21st, the time is marching on, so I need to make some decisions. I made uh, a video about which bike to choose, I made a video about which socks to choose, or which socks to wear, and so I thought I'd do a video about what shoes to wear, and allow all of you, my good viewers, my wonderful viewers, the opportunity to vote, and help me to choose the shoes, choose the shoes, choose Jules shoes. There you are, that could be a, as a youth hostling with Chris Eubank, there's an old Alan Partridge joke for some of you there. Um, um, is it, is it Alan Partridge? Yeah, it is Alan Partridge. Anyway, the first, the first choice is, do I go SPD mountain bike style cleats or do I go look road cleats? So that's the first decision. Now let's say on the one hand, on the one hand with the look cleats, the shoes tend to be lighter. They tend to have a, a bit of a wider foot bed on the pedal and you'll be familiar with the kind of mountain bike uh, sorry the difference between road bike pedals and mountain bike pedals as I shall describe it or even gravel bike pedals so it's slightly wider uh, footprint for your foot which is perhaps better for a longer ride not necessarily but perhaps alternatively one can go with the mountain bike type uh, cleats which will go on the mountain bike type pedals the advantage of this kind of shoe uh, is essentially you can walk in them and although I'm not planning to do a lot of walking I will be stopping for lunch maybe stopping to take some pictures getting off the bike and so on and so forth and therefore there are some particular advantages in having a pair of shoes that you can walk in which you can pretty well with these which is not so easy yes you can walk in them and you can get covers for the cleats but covers for the cleats cleats covers for the cleats but you can't do it quite so easily as you can with the SPD mountain bike type pedal so that's the first choice now let's just look at what shoes that I could take that have the look style pedals and I thought we were oh well we were looking at uh, don't go away don't go away I'm coming back Jules is coming back he's wandering over another part of his garage I'm shouting so you can hear me these are not necessarily one of the pairs of shoes that I might be taking so that rather spoils the video but there you are I've come back again so we've got this is a pair, or this is a physic, uh, physic, what is it? Physic, 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 or even physic or physic shoe. Okay, uh, what can I tell you about it? It's white, it has a boa style fitting there with a velcro strap fitting there. Uh, it has these holes in it, which means it should uh, uh, keep my feet relatively uh, aired while I'm cycling. Uh, it has a pretty stiff uh, carbon sole 
and it's a nice fitting shoe. So, quite nice, could, could wear those. On the other hand, I could wear these, a particularly stylish pair of Dromati. Leather shoes in this rather attractive black with these red stitching and the red inside. Look at that. Does, doesn't that make you drool and dribble? And if you're my age, you drool and dribble. Anyway, whether or not you see a decent pair of shoes. So these have a, uh, a kind of nice padded tongue and they have a lace-up system there. So on the one hand, the black shoes with the look style pedals and the lace-up or the white physic shoes with the boa dial and the velcro fitting and the carbon sole all right if you want to see them both together they are I'll hold them both up to the camera so that you can see them clearly you can see that they've both got the look style pedals on the soles i haven't done the naughty jiggery pokery there and there you are though that is the choice now, not necessarily the choice because i do have some other uh, shoes with look style pedals but that is the choice at the moment so let's put that down now with the mountain bike spd type pedals uh, i'm going to give you a choice of three. First of all we have these uh, which you may have seen an unboxing of and these are the quok q u o c oh i've got a bit of got a bit of mess on there it's not very good is it uh, these are the quok uh, gravel shoes they have a lace up closure system i think that's what us people in the cobbler industry call it uh, they have a rubber type sole with uh, walking uh, knobs. Would you call these walking knobs? You can call them what you like. I don't know what that Hancock and his power ball would call them. I'd call them walking knobs. And so they are comfortable to walk in. They're a nice pair of shoes. I've worn them once on a fairly long ride. And in fact, I took these on my trip to Hern Bay and I did enjoy them. So nice pair of shoes. Alternatively, I could use this physic pair very similar to the white road shoes that I showed you because they have the boa closure here and they have the velcro strap there they have the uh, perforations that you see in there kind of things you get on a tea bag and they have again the walkable uh, knobs on the bottom uh, one of the big differences I suppose well, actually it's not that big a difference but there is a difference in weight these uh, road type shoes because you've got to go fast you've got to get into the coffin quickly uh, these tend to be lighter than these shoes because they've got these rubber knobs on the bottom yes matt hancock they have these rubber knobs on the bottom so they tend to be a bit heavier than the road shoes so the physic terror uh gravel shoes is one possibility the quok shoes which you've seen is another possibility and then there is a third possibility and these are shimano shoes and these are kind of shimano mountain bike or gravel type shoes they have a lace-up closure and i do not like these laces i must say and they have a kind of soft uh padded interior they have a soft kind of trainer more of a trainer feel perforated upper and they have the knobs on the bottom with a bit of dirt and a bit of oh dear oh dear that's dog poo now you know um sherlock holmes if you know your uh, conan doyle one of sherlock holmes's great skills was he could tell what cigar had left the ash at the scene of the crime and in fact had written a paper on it about 50 or 60 different types of distinctive ash that could be found at the scene of the crime and therefore he would know what make it was and he would know what type of cigar the villain smoked you see the very important skill that well i have developed a uh, a not dissimilar skill although it probably doesn't have the same advantage in crime fighting as sherlock holmes found and that is from a sniff of the bottom of a shoe i can tell not only not only the make or breed i think it's called the breed of dog that did the shit that is affixed to my shoe i know where it happened so there is a very distinctive smell to the shit there is a very distinctive smell to the location of the shit you put those two things together and if your villain right you happen to 
Uh, find the shoes. Now, OK, a villain doesn't always leave their shoes behind. But as you know, sometimes you get dog shit on your shoe. You don't want to wear those shoes anymore, so you leave them behind. So supposing the villain, right, the villain has indulged in a series of robberies. Uh, he stepped in some shit. He wasn't happy about it. So, Or, or she, even. Could be, could be a, a, a lady. Uh, they stepped in some shit. They weren't happy about it. So they took off their shoes and they left them there. No, that wouldn't work then, because when I came along, I'd know that was the scene of the crime, because I found the shit. All right, let's suppose the villain runs away, okay, the villain runs away a couple of miles, then he takes, or she, takes his shoes off, and he throws them over the fence into the neighbour's garden. Everybody thinks, ah, it's the neighbour who, or, or that particular person who did the theft. And I would come along, and I would sniff the shoes, and I would say, no, no, this was done by a Labrador uh, about two-thirds of the way down the high street in uh, uh, Snotland, right? And that's where you will find, uh, or that, that was the scene of the crime. I'm quite developed, this idea. There is a story in there, possibly a, a TV series. I need, I need a name for a detective. If you've got a good name for the detective, the, the shit smeller uh, detective, leave a comment down below and I shall give you a credit when it is finally produced on ITV by Jen Mercurio or one of those other people who does line duty. I think that was on BBC, wasn't it? So this is the final choice of the shoes, light digression there around the dog shit issue. Um, and I'm, I, I must say, I do like these shoes. That I find them, I find them very comfortable. They're very nice to walk in. They are quite heavy, right? And the, the shit has added a certain amount of extra weight uh, to it, uh, a certain number of grams. Uh, if I had a set of scales here, uh, I could actually weigh uh, the shoes. Then I could clean the shit off, and then I could tell you what weight of shit was fixed to the bottom of the shoe. But I haven't got a set of scales, so I can't do that. So, would you like a recap, or you're not bothered? The Shimano shoes, uh, forget about the dog shit, that was a, a slight digression. The, um, and these are uh, mountain bike star cleats, obviously. The uh, Quok shoes, rather nice, dark green sort of camo, camo, uh, camouflage. I think, uh, uh, flavour, no, not flavour, colour. That's it, camouflage colour. Uh, those are um, the mountain bike style cleats. Also the Physic Terra in this rather attractive uh, green colourway. I think that's uh, what the interior designers call it. I, I do hope to, to retrain as an interior designer. That seems to be where all the fun can be had, unless you're Secretary of State for Health, of course, in which case you get all kinds of fun going on in your office. That's a little in-joke, uh, political joke, about the political scene in Britain. Of course, if you're watching this in the United States, you say, why do you keep on going on about Hancock? Well, just Google it. That's what I say, Google it, and you'll find out everything. So the choice then of the look style uh, road shoes, more road shoes, is the Physic, uh, the white shoes with the, the boa dial and Physic written on the side there, Physic, F-I-Z-I-K, spells Physic, or the Dromati, yes, the Dromati Italian black with the leather stitching and the laces and the particularly fetching uh, red interior. Now, I can imagine if I was, uh, uh, if I was a kind of non-executive director of the NHS, all right, and I walked into Matt Hancock's office wearing these shoes. Right? He would take my one look at me and he would say, come here, my boy, and let me put my tongue down your throat and my hand on your derriere. And I would say, no, sir, no, please don't, sir. And that is a particular aspect of the show. Can I, can I say this on YouTube? I mean, is there, is there any sexual harassment going on or is it entirely consensual? And did Matt Hancock's wife consent to him having an extramarital affair with the lady in question? One of the things I was thinking about this particular story, and again, I'm sorry for my uh, viewers from overseas who want to Google it, is why is she, why is she described as his mistress? Why why that that puts the man in the position of power? Why wasn't he her uh, mistress, but in the, in the man version of mistress, what mistress? for example. Why wasn't he her mistress? Why does she have to be his mistress? Do you see, it gives him it, it gives him the power, whereas perhaps she had the power, perhaps she infiltrated his inner sanctum, God forbid, with the intention of getting him fired. So she was very successful. This has taken us completely off topic. So don't, don't get confused when you come to the vote, right? The vote is about which shoes should Julian take to Le Jog? Not about uh, should the dog shit smelling detective be made into a three or even six part series on Sky Atlantic or ITV or BBC or other, uh, other television channels are available. And nor is it about 
the rightness of Matt Hancock's behaviour and his power more in his office when they thought nobody was watching and they got up to some naughties. Yes, naughties. I can remember back in the noughties when I got up to some noughties, but that was a long, long time ago. Now I'm 65. I no longer concern myself with the evils of the flesh. Yes, I have moved beyond that. But don't forget, right, when you vote, if you haven't yet watched uh, Philosophy with Jules, they don't close the coffin until you're in it. Take a look and take my advice. Go and do, well, sow your wild oats. No, actually, Matt Hancock, don't watch my videos. Don't get a camper van. Don't go off to Scotland and the North Coast 500. Various people left comments saying there are millions of bloody camper vans. Don't come to Scotland. So I said, OK, I ain't going to Scotland. I'm going to Wales because there's more than one country that's out of the European Championships. <laughs> Will it be us next? Us. You see, I say us. I mean, I mean, England. Yes, England. We're going all the way. Uh, we're well, going all the way to the next round, and then we'll see what happens. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it got a little off topic, as they say, but uh, see you next time.